Social risk and uh, social listening, which I would rephrase as a social understanding, which is a little bit farther, um, are related to collecting data about uh, what people is saying, so collecting people's voices, in our case, under an ethical way. So we respect the privacy and we aggregate all the data so no one can be punished uh, for what they are saying. And in this case, what we are doing is collecting millions of voices in real time from multiple public data sources. Uh, so we can provide insights, uh, like for example, uh, emerging trends in, uh, in social behavior or uh, real needs uh, related to hunger or um, what are the effects of a uh, natural disaster in real, so we collect that data in real time, so we can provide information, uh, actionable information to our partners and our customers, so they can react like much more faster and much more efficiently, and they can uh, generate like a more uh, efficient impact in the society. We have an ongoing project called EARS with World Health Organization. In this case, we are collecting data worldwide about misinformation narratives around COVID and around vaccines. So we collect data and in this case, we are identifying narratives that are impacting in society related to um, so mainly vulnerable communities that get uh, the COVID due to misinformation, as an example. In Colombia, uh, we identified that there was like a narrative, a gender narrative related to uh, infertility and getting vaccinated. And this, uh, so this, this was a, a belief, a growing belief within different communities. Uh, so after extracting the, this insight, um, the Ministry of Health can react and can inform better the population about which are the effects and the non-effects uh, of getting vaccinated. We are in one of the most, it's not the worst pandemic, but it's the, the, the most impactful pandemic probably. Um, what we are seeing is that there is a huge problem of infodemia worldwide. So in the last two years, 90% of the data of internet has been created and 80% is unstructured. So there's a lot of information and no one knows how to unlock the quality or the value of this information. So um, setting the standards, uh, collaborating together in order to be able to help society uh, within this, this context uh, is super important and I think that this, this event is, uh, is what I, is, I aim to do. Given this context of infodemia, uh, data is heterogeneous uh, and the quantity is, is growing exponentially. So it's really difficult to identify which data sets, which data sources are meaningful to understand and to be representative in taking conclusions about a problem. Uh, so and these, are, these are the main challenges. And then uh, structuring that and structure data and extracting uh, relevant insights, not only anecdotic insights, uh, I think it's the, it's the magic behind the technology. In our case, we work with public data sources or data sources that the people gave consent in order to be used. Uh, but in any case, we are not storing any personal data. We are aggregating all the data and all the information is um, even uh, re revised, so cannot be tracked. Uh, so we cannot track in our platform, any individual can be tracked. So all the insights are like aggregated and, um, and yeah, and that's, I think that's, also one of the magics of the technology behind this.